Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Tom Mitchell. You watch my channel, Mr. 14, and I'm back doing a review of MTV Catfish Season 8, Episode 61. Why are we still on Season 8? I could have sworn we should be in Season 9 right now, but we're still on Season 8. It's Victoria and Anthony. Check it out. Hey, what's up, y'all? What's going on? So, yes, we are back for Catfish. And, yes, 61. I said, we can't. Can we go to 9 already? Because this long, drawn-out season 8 has been crazy. We started from the beginning, beginning, beginning of season 8 with the fight and everything. I took the quarantine edition. So, now, back on the road. And, and I'm excited. And I'm still going to give you the reviews. I appreciate everyone who's been supporting Catfish reviews, even the past ones that I have done and the recent ones. I appreciate that the catfish has been my number one best videos on my channel. So I appreciate the love, the support, new subscribers. If you have anything to say, put it down in the comment section. If you new people, please hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell or so you'll be notified for all my videos. I just don't do catfish. I do other reviews as well like Housewives and you know Love and Matter Sunsville, Love and DC. And other shows, too. I'm going to be doing P-Valley. So, if y'all like that show, please watch me and everything. And also other shows as well. Right? I mean, let's get into Catfish. I don't, I don't think it's going to try to be too long. But, yes, I'm excited. And it's back. And I told Cammy, so I'm ready for the review. She said, come on with it. I'm ready. We're ready. Okay, I like Cammy. Cammy and Eve, we're back. What's up? So we got Victoria. Victoria is 24 years old, and she's been talking to this person named Anthony for not one, not two, not three, eight years. Eight years she has been talking to this person. She, she was 16 years old. She started talking to him on Snapchat. Snapchat. What the hell? Snapchat. <laughs> and then they've been talking for a while now. They haven't been really talking to any other platforms, but mainly on Snapchat. But she did find his Instagram based on his name, and she found him. I mean, he never gave it to her or nothing like that, but she found him. But she didn't follow him because he didn't follow her. So she found him by the name, and she would just lose little things. And he called himself the – and they keep blurring it out. So I'm going to say he's the P master, the, the kitty cat master, whatever it is, because I can't – I don't know what it was saying, but it blurred it out. So maybe I could think he's the kitty cat master. That's all I want to say. And she lives in Austin, Texas, 24 years old. And then, you know, one of my favorite, my family members, YouTubers, Auntie Mo is in Texas. So I know when she said that, she said, oh, this girl's up inside her city. Hey, yes, Auntie Momo, you got somebody in your city. <laughs> so, but she said, Anthony is a model, L.A., Oh, that's like that. I said, those models is like a red flag kind of confession because it's like they a model. They love the attention. They love to show themselves. So I don't understand why they will be hesitant to talk or do video chat or FaceTime. And she told us that she be having a like an online relationship with this person as a boyfriend material. For eight years, and they never FaceTime and they never talk on the phone. And I said, for eight years, I was like, come on, y'all. Y'all, come on. What desperation do we need to have for y'all to go this long with someone and never video chat and never FaceTime? Like, come on. Technology is advanced now. So it's no excuse for us to go this long with someone. And video chat unless you don't care of doing further in relationship and they say you know what i just like i just like having someone i can talk to that's fine but don't hold your life up for this person continue on having a relationship date other people everything else because if it's just on the online talk and having a conversation and chatting that's fine but don't carry a relationship with someone and have your feelings involved for someone and you don't face facetime or video chat or voice chat Phone calls, none of that. So this is, I was like, girl. 
All right, so we're off the show. And she mentioned that how at some point she was like, okay, this is good too much. So she said around 18, she was talking to him from 16 to 18. And then from, because she said when she started at 16, he had a lot of a Snapchat. And from there, they started chatting up with each other. And I guess she was getting numbers and everything. And every year he keep changing his number. Now, before that, she was talking to him. They was sending pictures to each other. The first time was innocent and everything. After a while, they started sending nudes. I said, oh, child. And from there, she started, she had a boyfriend. And when she was 18 years old, when she got a boyfriend, she kind of like blocked him and left him alone. So from there, because she was getting agitated, upset, because it's like, listen, she got a boyfriend, he got upset, all that stuff like that. So she blocked him and said, I'm gonna cultivate the relationship. But she still kept comparing to a relationship or pairing boys or measuring boys based on Anthony's standards. I said, what standards this person is giving you that you need to measure your people in your real life or any other potential mates from him and he's the gold standard? Like, <coughs> I'm sorry, but you haven't never had the FaceTime or meet up or chatting on the phone. So what gold standards and what qualities he gave that make you feel like this person is the measure person and anybody got to live up to this expectation? Because he talked to you all the time. He went through things that your first in your journey. Her first car, her first job, her first apartment. Everything, her first things that she did that was like milestones for her, he was there. And I said, that's what I'm saying. If you want to have a chat person on the phone or a message buddy who you never meet, but you talk things through. But don't tell them really deep stuff. Just talk some surface things too. And it gets you do some things. That's fine. But don't get too emotional involved, y'all. That's the issue. Y'all get too emotional invested to these people. And they kind of use you. Not kind of. They will use you when they know you're vulnerable and you're gullible. Right? Lucky it was no money involved in this episode. So I was like, oh, good. You said no money. None of that stuff because that's usually a clear indicator. One of the top clear indicators is this person catfish when they ask for money. Point there, period. So when she was 18 years old to 21, she had a three-year relationship with this boyfriend. And after that ended, that's they started back up talking from 21 until 24 now. And from there, every year he keep changing his number. I said, why do you keep changing your number? Like, what's What's up with this? You keep changing your number every year? Is that you bad with phones or you just trying to cover your tracks? And changing your numbers like that is just like hopefully that people cannot constantly try to find you. Okay. Mm. So she was like, when they travel, because they said, listen, they talked to Victoria at the time. And it says, since she's in Texas and in L.A., and then supposedly Andy's in L.A., why would you fly you down here and then we could go from there? And I said, she said, hold on, money, free trip, you pay for it, I sh shoot, give me the ticket. Last I said, you pay me a free trip to the flight, even though I never been on the plane, I would try. Shoot, I ain't paying for the plane ticket, you paying for it. So she flew down there. She was ready. She was ready. She didn't hesitate. She said, okay, I'm fine. I'm ready. I got my backpack already. And she got on the plane. She went to L.A. And they met up and they were talking. And they were talking for a while. She said, yeah, this is going on. That's what she explained the details that I explained earlier. And then she said, she feel like he is legit and he is real. And he said, you could be lying. She said, what can he be lying for? And what can he be lying about? And I was looking at her. I was saying, Girl, you know what he could be lying about. First of all, he never FaceTime and you never talk on the phone. So it's clear reasons why he could be lying. And every time you press him about the situation, he always say he's too busy, too busy, too busy, too busy. Listen, no one is ever too busy for someone they really care about. And, and people who work in, 
eight hours a day or have families like that, whatever. We all busy. Work take up most of our lives, and then we home. We got things to do. We don't got much time. We gotta go to bed. Whatever, little, little entertainment. You might have friends, family, all stuff like that. Time flies, so stuff going fast pace. So we all busy, especially you working every day. You do you making your living? So we all busy, but you find time for someone. You can make the time. A simple text, a call, see how you doing. Go to the job, meet up with each other, especially you're in the same city. Enjoy things. Nobody say you got to drop everything because you still got to make your livelihood. But you are never too busy to be with someone or at least try to cultivate the relationship because you'll make it work no matter how busy you are. And try to, find out, and try to get someone who got a similar type of schedule with you or similar type of time frame to make it work, to make it easier for you to make it work. All right, so I guess they were sending some news and at the time, and they said, what's going on? Because he said, at one point, it got sort of raunchy, and he said, oh, send me a titty pop. Send a titty thing real quick. No, he said, pop that titty for me real quick. I said, pop the titty? Like, what would that word? Pop, pop? Pop that, 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 do the bad, do the bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she just and everything. And she said, like, "Know what? I don't got time for you. I just gotta block you." And at that time, when he asked for, "Can you pop the titty for me?" She was like, "Listen, why can't we never FaceTime? What's up with you? Like, come on, I need to talk to you. I need to see what you look like." And she said, "You know what? I'm gonna call Catherine." She said, "Go ahead," and everything. She said, "Okay, block." Block you and everything. So, so she said, "Do you know anyone who could?" Um, Cause she said, "The only person you could be talking to for this so long is either someone who is in the opposite sex of you and haven't never told you up the front, and they catfishing you on this, or someone who's involved in a relationship is like that." And they want to be caught. So they was like, that could be a possibility. Or eventual X, whatever it is. It could be other possibilities, but that's the two that need said. It could be someone in a relationship who don't want to be caught, who don't want to be involved. So it's like they try to cover their tracks and do the thing on the low low so they can prolong it by having a KE to two while they relationship and you would not know that. Or it's somebody that's opposite sex who might enjoy you, who love you. So like like because who might it be factuated with you? And she said she has a friend named Kaya, her best friend, that she tells her the details about because she knows about Anthony. And he said, okay, do Kaya got a boyfriend? She said, no, she got a girlfriend. And she said, what a, and the cam said, what a way to put that out there. And she said, I will try to get there to see if you got a girlfriend because, you know, it could be thinking and say, like maybe she has some secret crush and maybe it could be her. And Victoria said, nah, nah, it can't be her. It's not, it's not her. It's not Victoria. It's not Kaya. It's not, it can never be Kaya. So she don't want to believe it is Kaya. And I said, I don't want to believe Kaya either. And I said, damn, that's crazy. Your best friend find out all about the details about Anthony and to find out she is the person. That's crazy. So they started investigating. They checked the Instagram post. And it was Anthony Faust, because that's supposed to name, that's the name that she was given. And they mentioned him, and then they mentioned a friend of Anthony was Sule. They mentioned him. Sule responded back. They talked on the phone with Sule, and Sule said, listen, Anthony has is married, and he has a child. And it was like, ooh. And I said, ooh. So I was saying the same thing. I said, ooh, child. So they was like, yes, you bet. I can get off the phone with you. I can probably hit him up and let you know and everything because you definitely need to talk to him because it'd be crazy because it's like somebody could probably be using his pictures for eight years, catfish is somebody else. And the fact that that picture that Anthony Faust on his Instagram page, good looking guy and everything, see legit. So why wouldn't he FaceTime? But then like I said, he said, well, if he's married and got a kid that complains it, if we could see if it's him or not, because we could move him out. So they eventually, they eventually 
one the phone number, they were different things, so on and so like that. Now, they got a message from Anthony said, I don't trust you, Neve, and I don't trust Victoria. But we're gonna meet face to face. Let's meet face to face, and I'm gonna be at this location at Wells Park, whatever it is. I'm gonna call Wells Park. I heard Wells, but I know it was Wells Park, well, my mental, whatever it is, it's Wells. And he said, cool. I said, okay. And I was like, I looked at the time. I said, this is too way too early. So it's, it cannot be that easy. So they went over there. They met up with the real Anthony that was on the pictures. And he walking. I said, oh, look like he might, he looks like he's pissed. But he got the little, like, little bow legged kind of walking and everything. That's the prop and everything. It was cute. He was cute. And everything. And it was a real legit little pictures that the person was using the catfish for. Using the pictures of this catfish. The catfish we using his pictures. That's real this person. So he came up there and he said, What's going on? What's up with everything? And they were trying to explain to him and tell him everything. And he was like, Listen, yo, the reason why I'm hesitant with y'all, because I got this little threatening messages from Victoria saying that listen, do not meet up with me, do not meet with catfish, or something like that. And he got the message that he said for Victoria. And she said, Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't say nothing. And I was like, Oh, somebody's hat Victoria Page. So they've been talking for a while and they cleared things up. So he said, no, I'm married. I got a kid. I have never talked to you before. I don't get down like that. No, I'm doing so. He eventually apologized. He said, I'm sorry this is what you going through, but I'm sorry. He said, no, we just want to clear this up. He said, yeah, it's not me. But they said, they showed the message and said, Let's, this is somebody who trying to stop him from meeting up with catfish because stop meeting with a catfish. And I said, oh, child. So that was that. And Victoria was kind of bummed out about it because she said, wow. Who could be this? So when they messaged, they had ended up messaging this person. And they ended up sending an um, ad, ad on Snapchat. And then immediately, immediately, somebody responded back on the Snapchat and added back and they said, what's up going on? So they got the, lo the uh, location on the Snapchat because you could say your location is next to your profile and they found out that person in North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina and Victoria said, hold up, my best friend is Charlotte, North Carolina so we can go there and see my best friend because I see him for a while <coughs> <coughs> sorry and I was like, ooh, okay so now they keep thinking that can it be Kaya, like listen, it's very coincidence your friends in North Carolina, you said she has a girlfriend, and she kept saying she don't want to believe it's Kaya, she's not Kaya, but now the Snapchat is based in North Carolina, your friend is in North Carolina, and said, it could be something. So she said her mom has Kaya address, so she could send him the address, and that's it. They went to sleep, they came back the next morning, and then they um, sat there, and she said, it's not, it hit me into the up, and you know that, oh, uh, we know that it's you and everything. We know that it's um, going to North Carolina with the best friend Kai and everything. You know what's up. It's not you. Well, so they would say, oh, but if you told them, maybe if it was Kaya, now she know that you was, the gig is up and that she could change her mood. And she said, ooh. And he said, no, 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 no. Let, give her cards. Let her, let her show her, let me play her hands. Like, listen, it is what it is. We're going to find a person, whether you show her our truth or not. You show her a card, it is what it is. You still gonna get to the bottom of this. So they ain't making a big deal. But I said, girl, girl, you was too quick to text them all that stuff. And I said, they'll tell me your plans, y'all. Shoot. So, but they got the message and said, okay, I drink this up. I know y'all wanted to see me, so let's go. Let's up. Here, this address. And it's exactly the same address that her mom gave Victoria. 1801 something, something, something Avenue. And I said, what? The same address? I know. Now they say, can it be Vinny Kaya? And Victoria said, no, it's not Vicky Kaya. It can't be Kaya. But we're going to find out. So they went to the place, 1801 Southern Avenue. They knock on the door. And here comes this girl named Ashanti, where Victoria confirmed was this Kaya's girlfriend. I said, um, ooh, the girlfriend. So they came up, they said, do you know why we're here? She said, yes. Do Kaya know that we are here? 
And she said, no. And she said, what's up? I tried to say, I'm Anthony. They said, how? It can be no possible way you could be Anthony. She said, no, I'm Anthony. She said, the whole time? She said, yes, the whole time. How is that possible? It can't be, Dick. Because they were so stunned and said, how can you be um, Anthony all this time? So basically, one of one of Shanti's friends posted this on the of uh, Victoria. And then she added Victoria from on her Snapchat. And they started going from there. And then how she met Kaya is that Victoria posted something about Kaya on her Snapchat. And then she started talking to Snapchat or Kaya. And they started getting a relationship. So six years later, they had a relationship with Kaya. Then while she was still talking to Victoria as Anthony. So while she was in the whole full relationship, real relationship with Kaya, she was secretly in relationship with Victoria as Anthony while being Kaya's girlfriend. And I said, that is kind of crazy. And Kaya and Victoria are best friends. And they had no idea. It was Shanti all this long time. So that was crazy. And then Shanti didn't even give a damn. She didn't even say, okay. Basically, I ain't gonna really hold y'all up. She was like, okay. I did what I did. It was a, you kind of you all kind of little dumb girl because you was like fought for it. At first it wasn't even that serious, but they got kept going, kept going. But yes, I did what I did and I ain't changing it. <laughs> and I said what I said, and that's it. That was her attitude. I said what I said, I did what I did, and oh well. So Kaya came up and Kaya said, Okay, I, yeah, I know what Victoria was telling me about Anthony and what's going on. Yeah, I know why you here and everything. But what's up? And and Shanti said, Well, I'm Anthony. She said, Oh, how? No, it can't be possible. No, it's not possible. It's a yes and yes. What's going on? So you be lying to me? This whole time you had a single relationship with thing where you was in really? He said, This is I can't do this because we go through this all the time. He said, Oh, so he did this before. He said, No. It's like we have our up and downs. And it's just a cycle. It's crazy. So they went inside. Trying to try to hash it out one last time. Ashanti still like saying, listen, I don't give a damn. It is what it is. I'm not gonna bag it. I'm not going on my knees, knees. I'm not doing none of that. It you gonna want me or you not. And I'm this is what I'm gonna be. Period. Victoria's like, she's done. She said, hey, that about me. Like, what's about are you okay, Kaya? She said, no, it's just too much. She's like, I can't just can you go to the back and forth, back and forth. I can't do it all stuff like that. So Kaya said she was done. And I was sitting here a little bit ago, I said, are you really done? Because I know some people say that, but they actually don't really mean it. So are you really done? She said, yeah, I'm done. I just can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. So then he came and was like, listen, do you really mean it? If you're going to mean it, stand by it. But if you don't and you want to tell uh, Shanti, say, tell me something to make me want to stay with you. They say that, but don't mean that. Don't mean that you're done when you actually you are not done. And she said, I'm done. It's like, okay. They took Victoria and Kaya out. They said they said goodbye to Shanti. And it's what it is. And Shanti said, let's, okay. And that's it. Two months later, we find out that Victoria is moved in with her boyfriend for two years and been on the off. I said, Victoria, ah, oh, Victoria. Granted, I know people like to move in with each other with their boyfriend and girlfriends before they get married, but I'm not moving in with no one until I'm married. We both live in our separate places. We can stay in your place sometimes, we can stay in my place sometimes, but we have our own. Until we walk down an aisle and say, I do, then we get a place together and move in together. But I'm not moving in as no fiance, no boyfriend, none of that. We can move in into us, we could stay in other places to see how he is. But moving in together is going to be done to after marriage. So when you said two years on and off, and then you moved in with the boyfriend, I mean, she's happy. But I would say, oh, hope you still got your own place. Because don't, don't put in the position where he kick you out or whatever. Or you got kicked out. No, we, no. Let's both your name was on the lease. Hey. And she said she moved in with him. So I was like. But she told us that Kai is still with Ashanti. I said, I knew that girl was going back. I didn't know it. I said, girl. And Ashanti was not an ugly dude. It's like, ugly girl. 
And I was like, she like, she got the tomboy um, thing, but I was like, had a feeling because she didn't sound convincing like she was done done. She looked like she was still in it. And I said, girl, you go back to the show. Victoria said, it doesn't really mean that. I should just, I kind of, I just, just kind of stepped it down, just ignore her. Like, I'm just pretending that she's not there. And me and her is cool, still cool. Because I was like, it was still a so awkward when she's been the one catfishing me for eight years and you knew about it. And well, no, you find out. And for me to be lounge you, no, I'm not doing that. So she said, she just pretends that and shots is not around. But I said, I knew Kai was going to go back to that girl. And I said, oh, child. I said, anyway, no sense of doing no too much check on her either, because it is what it is. Right? But that was Catfish, y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Tell me how y'all feel. Also, if you can, please subscribe to my channel, Mr. 14. Also, my Instagram is Mr. Grown. My Twitter is Thomas or underscore Grown. And my Discord is Mr. 14. The link to my Discord is in the description box down below. So if you are interested in doing watch alongs, and it talks on the thing Discord, that is the place to be because I do a lot of things on there and I appreciate that. All right, without further ado, I'll talk to y'all later.